Hi, uh, this is Regim, and this is going to be a quick video basically showing you a simple way to download, install, and enable add ons for Arma 3 Alpha. Right, so the first thing what you want to do is obviously search for your specific add ons, and the best place for this is Armaholic. So once this loads up, put this onto Arma 3. I'll just filter Armour 3 content. So let's find something that will. Okay, something quick. So, simple add on. Now I've already got this particular add on already installed, but I will download this one. So. Download that, it's only a megabyte, it shouldn't take too long. Right. Click save. Right, that's done. So I'll grab that. No, I don't want to open it. Right. So what we want is that you can either open it with whatever you use to open it with it doesn't really matter so basically you'll have sometimes mods will vary sometimes you'll just have an, an app folder like this here and sometimes you'll have a user config folder as well and that will basically contain other stuff that is required for this particular add-on to basically work so where you want to be putting these is basically in your Steam directory for Armour 3. For mine it's in my computer, C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Armour 3. So as you see I've already got some mods already installed on this. So now I'm going to basically now install and, and then enable this particular mod that I've put in. So as I said before, there's two folders in here. There's already a user config folder in this, but we'll get to that in a sec. So the first thing you'll want to do is extract this folder into the directory. Like that. That's that done. Now, for the next bit for the user config, you'll want to open the user config folder out. And then you'll want to basically go in to this, open that up and then extract that folder into there. Now if you haven't already got a user config folder you could just basically go back, just drag that straight into your Armour 3 directory folder. So that's to, just to explain that. Any other, any other folders that are required with it, normally they're only just the app folder and the occasional ones for user configs. So now I've got that done, I am going to now go to my Steam and then I'm going to enable, I'm going to launch the game and then I'll show you how to enable the mods. So, go to Arm 3, hit play, and we'll just let the game load. Okay. Yep, there we go. So, once you've gone through the loading screens, that will take us then to the main menu. Ah, you would have to fucking message me now, wouldn't you? Right. So, what you want to do is, on the main menu, you want to go and click on the options, and then you want to go to the expansions tab, and that will bring up your list of add-ons. 
basically with them with empty circles like this the, that shows that these add-ons are not enabled you want to enable them you click on the said mods that you want to enable so just ignore that so basically click on the add-ons you want and then click enable and then that will show that's enabled like that so we want that gesture mod on uh, well, I'll just include add all the other ones because I just did that to show you from doing this from scratch so once you've done that all the ones that are selected you want enabling once you're happy with what you want to basically enable hit OK you're happy to start yep just hit the restart button it will then restart the game and then it will load all the add-ons for the next time that this is up so go back into the game again through the load screens and then hopefully it will all be loaded and ready for you to use So, some, sometimes they'll give icons like this, so that that one there where the mouse cursor is, is for the CBA, and that one's for the hand signals. So, that's showing that those two are enabled, so if you want to make sure that your add-ons are enabled, so just again go back into your option screen, onto the expansions, and now you'll see all of the selected mods that I had put on are now enabled and are working correctly. Uh, don't need to do that. So that is the that's basically it for all you need to know of a simple way to install and enable your add-ons. So I hope that clears things up for some people and thank you for watching. Bye.